on this trip, we were able to share the gospel multiple ways. We had a group doing a skit, and it was the everything skit, and so we were able to just show them, like, he created things for us, and, like, life's temptations, and he'll still save us in the end. We were able to show it through our actions and interacting with people, just genuinely caring about the people here. And through our testimonies, through the gospel that our Thai staff with Athletes in Action shared, um, they spoke in their language, they were able to talk with them. Ali showed, shared the KGP with us in Chiang Mai, and it's a really good tool that will just help us like take that back to the States and to our campuses and to be able to share the gospel and evangelize the people on our campuses to also spread the gospel. And then um, how we played volleyball, we got to share the gospel that way. Um, and just how he interacts with people, which was really sweet, just showing them like God's love and grace and passion he has for us um, through playing and through like just conversations with them. The way that I lo love sharing the gospel the most was um, personal. I got to share it with um, a Buddhist and it, it was awesome because we got to like build a relationship first. We had known each other for well, 30 minutes, but um, we had a great like um, conversation for 30 minutes, and then he shared like what he believed first, and then I got to share um, about what I believe about Jesus, um, and and then we actually got to build on that relationship because he showed up at the um, going away party the next day, so that was awesome. A miracle I saw God do on this trip was just breaking the language barrier, and we're able to reach the nations, and that's what He calls us to do. One miracle was definitely the fact that 107 people accepted Christ. I don't know what that means exactly because I know Buddhism, like they can accept a lot of things. Um, but I am encouraged because one of the missionaries that we were with, she shared her testimony and she was at one of these camps that they shared the gospel and she is like a true authentic believer so I was encouraged by that. During this trip, God did a lot of great things. Personally, I just felt like a lot of practical changes I can make in my life. I read Romans 12.1 like 10 times while I was here, so that's something I really want to work on, like worshiping God in my sport, with my body, how I play, financially, just like all kinds of worship for God. So that's something I'm looking forward to bringing back home. Uh, yeah, God taught me a lot. One thing that he taught me was just um, more about his faithfulness. Uh, there's a lot of times that I felt like super weak, and he just like had me rely on him the whole time. Another thing is that there were there were times that were very hard, like the running of clinics. Um, if we weren't for those clinics, like I wouldn't have the conversations with like some of the um, the Thai people that I that I did later on. Each one of us on this trip had like different gifts that God used, despite the language barrier. Like He used us to like bring glory to Him and um, to share the gospel of Christ. Thank you.